If you're looking to repair your Polaris ATV, check out my channel and please subscribe. I've got uh, plenty of Polaris repairs. Uh, more subscribers I get, the more videos I make, and the more you get to learn. Uh, I got uh, two strokes, four strokes, um, whatever you got, I got a video on it. Um, right now I'm working on the Scrambler. Um, hit the like button if you like the video, and I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Alright, today we're going to replace the head gasket on a two-stroke 400 Polaris. Uh, this applies to Scramblers, um, Explorers, anything with a 400 engine in it. Um, yeah, I had the, uh, the piston, or the cylinder loading up with coolant, and uh, it wasn't running right, so I pulled the spark plug. See the spark plug's all wet. And uh, I think um, I have a... Uh, coolant running out of one of the uh, studs up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, the head off and uh, I'm going to put a new gasket in and uh, hopefully that will cure my problem. So disconnect your hoses, drain your coolant, uh, make sure you disconnect this. Um, it should be about two, four, six, uh, 12 millimeter nuts. Now I'll come off. Oh, see, stud came out of that one. Yeah, I got lots of coolant in there. You can see it inside. It's all soaked. Um, what happens is uh, sometimes your engine overheats and your head warps. And then uh, once your head warps, that doesn't seal correctly. Here's your gasket. There is a certain direction it goes on, so pay attention when you pull it out. But yeah, that thing's pretty mashed. So I got a new gasket, so I'm going to throw that in and uh, tighten everything down. We're going to torque it down, and uh, hopefully that cures my problem. I'm going to try to show you what I mean here. What I do is I'll take a straight edge with the, the head, put it up to the light, and I'll see if I can see any lights in between there. And uh, it doesn't show up in the camera too well, but I hold it up to the light, right? right there, you can see it. This is warped. Little spots there, little spots there. I happen to have another head. And uh, what I do is uh, um, I'll sand it down. Um, I'll start with, um, say, about 220 grit. Then I'll sand it more with... Uh, 320 till it gets finer and finer go down to 400 to 600 um, and smooth uh, make this completely flat it's actually an old school trick and another way I tested it now I put the old head on and it actually rocked back and forth this nice sanded one is tight and uh, so when I go to put the new gasket on it's not going to be warped there won't be any high spots or low spots and uh, yeah, that should cure my problem. All right, so I cleaned up all my surfaces. Um, so the way you install this is, is if you can see here, there's a, um, two little holes. One's got a little uh, curve mark in it. Um, goes that way. You don't want to install it that way. And there's a tab up here. And then this goes towards the exhaust. Put that on like that. Now, also keep in mind, if uh, you've got an issue where you had a coolant leak, there is a drain plug at the bottom of the engine. You're going to pull that plug out and uh, make sure you drain all the coolant out of the bottom of the engine. Then I can go ahead and uh, put my head on.
That was the one the uh, the nut stuck on the stud, so I'm just going to put that back in that way. And then you torque these in a crisscross pattern. Um, if my memory serves right, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Or it's the other way. So I think it's this way. And torque them to spec. I believe it's uh, 18 to 20. Alright, so where those uh, drain plugs are under the engine, it's kind of a bear to get to. But, uh, let's see if I can shine the light up there. Uh, Alright. Right there. Not the first one on the left, the second one, one way on the right. Should be right up here. I'm going get my light there. Right here. So you spin that out. It's kind of a bear to get to because uh, on the scrambler, the frame's in the way. Uh, Explorer and all that, that pan comes off, so you should be easily get to it. So pull that plug out and drain any coolant, and uh, you should be good to go after that. And once you got everything back together, don't forget to uh, open your bleeder screw, your air bleeder screw, and uh, top off your coolant. So while you're uh, pouring your coolant in, listen for air to rush out, and then a little coolant will trickle out of it. Hear the air rushing out. Oh, now it's starting to trickle out. Tighten that up. And you have uh, success successfully bled the air out of your coolant system. If you don't do that, it'll still overheat. So there you have it. One head gasket installed. Just keep in mind the uh, the studs for the head, they uh, tend to stretch, so there's a chance you might replace the gasket and still have the same issue. So you might want to replace the studs. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it just as much as I enjoy working on these four-wheelers. Subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of Polaris repairs on there. And like always, till next time.